Hello everyone, I'm Rick from ACD Habit Solar and today I'm going to talk about sun grow inverters and how to tell what your sun grow inverter is making every day. Um, we've installed a lot of these sun grow inverters over the past few years and they're very popular and I get lots of calls of clients asking me what is my inverter doing, how much is it making every day. So here it is. Um, the sun grow inverter makes it really really simple. It's got a e-show module, LCD module, which can be Wi-Fi connected or not. So check your LCD module if it is Wi-Fi connected, you can connect it to your iPhone or to your iPad as well. But if it's not, you can simply look at the panel, which has got an LCD panel and an escape and an enter button. You touch any of those two buttons, it comes alive and it gives you... First reading is PAC 3512 watts, so that's how much how many watt hours it's making right now. So it's making 3.5 kilowatt hours. Um, e dash day, 4.8 kilowatt hours is what the system has made for the day. The screen goes blank, just hit any button and it'll come back alive. E dash total is 2,886 kilowatt hours. That's what the system has made over its lifetime. Um, so that's the home screen. If you long press the screen, you'll get to the menu. The menu has a number of options, run information, country settings, set time, on off control. You can scroll through these settings by short pressing the escape button. Uh, a lot of different settings here and if you press escape you go back to the home information, home menu. Um, once again press enter you go to the menu and then you can scroll through the settings using the short pressing the escape button. Uh, to go into any settings you would press the enter button again. So the most important, a lot of sections, settings you won't use, the most important ones is run information and fault record, which I will go through with you guys in the next few uh, minutes. So fault record, if you long press the menu item, you'll get into fault records. This records all the faults that your system has recorded for the time it's been operating. Uh, this system here, as you can see, you can scroll through by pressing enter or escape backwards. You can see there's a lot of 014 and 010 errors. I'm going to make another video to talk about this error extensively. This error is a grid fluctuation error, which can be remedied. The other menu item is run information. So if you go back home and go to run information, you can see what the system is doing. So in this in this scenario, the system has started up at about 7 a.m., the sun's come up, and the system's starting ramping up. So there you go, press escape to go back to the menu item, and then you can, you know, go to the home screen by pressing escape gate. That's the whole system, guys. Um, once again, the main settings are PAC, what the system is making right now, so it's ramped up a bit, 3.6 kilowatt hours now. Uh, e for today, energy for today is 5.3 kilowatt hours. There's a few other settings you can play with the brightness and whatnot. Enter sort of commits the change and escape goes back to the uh, last menu item or lets you scroll through the different menu items. Um, remember, all there's a lot of settings, but you don't need to fiddle with all of them. The main one is fault record and you know how to use your inverter and how to get all the readings out of it. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave your comments in here or you can also shoot us an email on info at acdhybridsolar.com.au.